This video teaches us how to debug an interactive game table. Step 1. Hardware installation. Secure four lasers at the four corners of the table. Power them using a 3 volt 1A power adapter. Place the lasers approximately 2 centimeters from the edge of the projector's display, horizontally. Position the camera vertically to cover the projected image on the desktop. Connect the camera and dongle to the computer's rear USB port. Step 2. Software Installation Find the installation package and click to install. After installation, you'll have three system drivers. If they are already installed, please close them. If not, continue with the installation. Step 3. Calibration. If using a 0.65 short focus camera, navigate to Interactive Soft, bin, seal and FIG.ini change is at ratio and camera ratio to 1. If using a standard camera, no changes are needed in this configuration file. Next, open the software, click on Settings, and switch to Laser Mode. The software will close automatically. Upon reopening, click on Settings again. Click on Cam Settings, adjust the gain to the maximum to brighten the image for calibration. Ensure and adjust the camera again to cover the projected image fully. Once set, choose Calibration. Click the Calibration button and the following will appear. Follow the calibration prompts indicated by the blue circles. Place your hands on the first calibration point. Use the mouse to align the red crosshairs with the bright spots, completing the calibration for one point. Proceed to calibrate the other three points sequentially. Once calibration is completed, the calibration interface will close automatically. After calibration, adjust the gain to between 10 and 35 in the tracker area. White recognition points should only appear when touching the desktop with your hand, indicating successful setup. Step 4. Adding games to the interactive system.
Select Play Plan. Add the software to the playlist. Check Auto Player Cycle. Step 5. Setting up interactive systems to boot automatically. Under Other Set, click on Boot, then click OK. Step 6. Exit the software to save settings. Right-click on the tray icon. A pop-up menu will appear. Exiting once will save the data. Step 7. Enjoy the game.